Nola Jet here at B Blows Mediterranean Grill. Get stuff in here. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are doing a Middle Eastern food review with a visit to the Elmwood Shopping Center location of B Blows Mediterranean Grill for a Middle East feast. This Biblos Mediterranean Grill is a Middle Eastern restaurant located in the New Orleans suburb of Harahan, Louisiana at 1000 South Clearview Parkway, Suite 1016, which is about 18 minutes and 9.6 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. There are two other locations of Biblos in Metairie, Louisiana, with one being another restaurant on Metairie Road and the other being a Middle Eastern market and restaurant on Veterans Memorial Boulevard. Now this location is quite different from the other locations as they offer a much more upscale ambiance and definitely more upscale food choices along with having their own oven to bake their bread freshly here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Also note that they have different hours here than the other locations of Biblos and they are also open on Sunday while the other locations are closed on Sunday. So you can see it's got a nice space with a good bar and dining room right next to each other and they've done some beautiful work on the interior of it. I will be eating my first meal here at the bar and they do have a good selection of draft beer and other adult beverages to uh, certainly investigate if you're in the mood for them. So you really get a great space here and it's certainly always good to check out their oven right next to the bar area here where they bake their own fresh bread that is pretty fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have falafel, vegetable patties, fried cauliflower, drunken halloumi, feta cheese fingers, fried Brussels sprouts, stuffed kibba, spinacoptia, smoked salmon dip, baba ganoush, Lebna, bacon wrapped shrimp, fried calamari, kebabs, served with two sides, chicken kebab, beef kebab, gulf shrimp, lamb kebab, kofta, shawarmas, chicken shawarma, beef shawarma, and Eero platter, then specialties, fish of the day, grilled Atlantic salmon, Greek lasagna, vegetarian platter, rack of lamb, Biblos pasta, Mediterranean pasta, classic Alfredo with salmon or shrimp, filet au poivre. Next we have hummus with classic Mediterranean lamb vegetable plate, flatbreads with gyro, margarita, spinach and artichoke, salads with fattoche salad, tablouille, field green salad, soups, spinach and lentil, sides with hummus, rice pilaf, brown rice, mashed potatoes, french fries, more sides with Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, tablouille, lebna, sauteed vegetables, and baba ganoush. Wraps served with hummus and fatou salad, chicken shawarma wrap, beef shawarma wrap, gyro wrap, falafel wrap, classic burger, and you can add bacon. On the other side of the menu, they have the wine list with whites and reds. And then they have cocktails and then beers, bottled and drought and a happy hour and then wine Wednesdays. So you get complimentary bread and a side of a nice olive oil mix to start your meal out. And ooh, this is a nice appetizer to get yourself ready for the main event. And they've got a nice uh, little combination of olive oil with some herbs and spices mixed in that gives quite a good zing to this bread. And this bread is fresh out of that what appears to be to be a pizza type oven. Uh, so we have two Israeli restaurants on Magazine Street that do a similar type of bread to this. And so there are only three places that I'm aware of in the New Orleans area that have this type of fresh baked bread that you can get in a Middle Eastern style restaurant. So it is a very nice thing to have this fresh out of the oven bread. It is fantastic. Now I got the rack of lamb with baba ganoush and hummus for my sides. And now it's time to get my caveman carnivore on. Oh yeah, mmm, oh ho ho. This lamb is very tender, it's perfectly cooked. Oh, there's so much juicy flavor in here. I do love a fantastic lamb chop. And these are fantastic lamb chops. And uh, 
a little larger than some of the ones that I've been eating uh, over the most recent few times I have had lamb chops, so I'm quite happy with the size and the delicate tenderness of this lovely, lovely lamb. Ooh, it's so delicious. These are definitely among the top lamb chops I've ever had. They did a fantastic job. They're cooked perfectly and so much good flavor in each and every bite. I'm really, really happy that I made this choice as it is definitely a winner out of the many things on this menu. Ooh, look at here. Oh, such wonderful, wonderful flavors in each and every bite. I am thoroughly impressed. And this is certainly one of my uh, all-time favorite things to eat on average. It's always great to have some lamb chops. I've uh, really enjoyed, I would say, 99.9% .9 of all my experiences I've had with lamb chops. Actually, the first time I ever had lamb chops, I cooked them myself. So back when I was in college was the first time I had them, actually. And I was in a grocery store, and I'm like, oh, look, lamb chops. I've always wanted some lamb chops. And uh, lamb has not been the easiest thing to find in the southern part of the USA for a uh, pretty uh, long while in most places. And only recently has it become more widely available and a much more common thing. So I was really happy to find those lamb chops and I simply looked up a recipe, cooked them, and they turned out fantastic. Baba Ganoush. So I've been eating at Biblos restaurants for decades now, and I have to say, they really have kicked up everything at this location. So they've really added a lot of extra little touches with different little spices and flavors with the baba ganoush and the hummus, and then this bread that's freshly baked. Absolutely a remarkable just increase of value of what you're getting for your money here. And it's just uh, some small little things that add up to big improvements in the experience, I have to say. This is really a pleasant thing. So it's like I totally destroyed these lamb chops. Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this plate of food. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. I was pretty fat and happy and ready to leave. However, my server talked me into getting this fantastic looking dessert. It's the cookie. Ooh, look at this thing. It's huge. So ice cream on a gigantic chocolate chip cookie with caramel all over it, huh? What could uh, go wrong here? Oh, oh, look at this thing. Wow, this is uh, quite a large serving. And this thing is piping hot as well. Ooh, it's almost burning my tongue. It's so hot, but thankfully I've got the ice cream to chill things out just a little bit. This thing is piping hot, fresh out of the oven, and the chocolate is ooey gooey delicious along with the ice cream and caramel sauce on top all going together to make for quite a nice combination and it's actually i think the first dessert i've ever eaten in the biblos restaurants uh i think i might have maybe have gotten uh, some kind of dessert at the market uh to go one time but for the most part it is uh, very uncommon I get dessert for the most part in the Biblos markets and they taught me into it as I was enjoying the experience so much. So this is uh, a pretty decent dessert and it's a very simple thing, nothing complicated about it. And uh, here goes the last of the ice cream unfortunately though. So maybe it needs more ice cream would be the uh, only critique I would say and room for improvement is you need more ice cream for this gigantic cookie. So maybe two or three scoops would make it even more fantastic. However, there's enough on here where you could easily split this and share it with somebody else. And it would make for a very nice end to your meal. So definitely each and every bite has been very pleasant, full of flavor. And the cookie is beginning to cool down a little bit now, so it's not nuclear level hot and burning my tongue like it did uh, the first little bite I had there. So it is uh, a really good option to check into. They have several other very nice uh, dessert options on their menu as well. So you can get the full experience here. I would say this restaurant is bordering on fine dining levels of quality. The service was fantastic. And I have to say the overall experience and the selection and the flavor of the food 
is superior to the far more expensive two Israeli restaurants that we have a magazine. So I think this might be the best Middle Eastern restaurant in the area for this type of finer dining experience, but not quite fine dining, but close to it. And here we go with the last bite. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this cookie dessert, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this dessert. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $54.59. So the prices are right around fine dining levels, I would say. And then, for my next visit, I got a shawarma combo plate with Eero and chicken. And then, more of the fantastic bread here. Ooh, yes! So this chicken shawarma does look to be upgraded and nicer than the chicken shawarma you get at the Biblos Market on Veterans. Got a little spicy sauce there as well that really kicks up the flavor of that chicken. I love this spicy sauce. Ooh, yes. It just really adds an extra depth of flavor to the chicken and brings out a lot of deliciousness to my taste buds at least. Your results could vary. I don't find the uh, little red spicy sauce here to be that spicy, personally. It's just a nice little extra kick that uh, just gives it a zing I like. So it's not a eye-watering, uh, taste bud bursting experience. Now this is a Brussels sprout. They charred it on the outside. And these are quite large Brussels sprouts, so it had some nice flavors. And then the hummus is super kicked up. They put all kinds of beautiful things in here. Delicious roasted garlic and some other vegetables in it. So this is extra, extra fancy hummus with all these other things mixed in and uh, really good flavors in there. So all of the things on this plate are really, really flavorful. They're done in a bit of an upgraded way from what I've had at the other two locations of Biblos. And I've got to say that you uh, certainly are getting a bit of a extra touch on everything. So your overall experience is going to be superior to what you get at the Metairie Road location and then certainly kicked up quite a bit from the way more casual uh, veterans location of Biblos Market. So these Brussels sprouts are pretty interestingly cooked. The char on them and then the sauce right here. Let's see, this is such a big Brussels sprout. I don't know if I can get it in one bite, but ooh. Okay, so it was a little messy there, but I was able to get that thing down and took down all of the Brussels sprouts. Now let's see if we can make ourselves a little Eero sandwich with the fresh baked bread. We're gonna add a little hummus on there. And then of course we've got an olive here, ooh. That's the uh, one thing I guess they could have uh, added more of to make me even happier is put more olives down. Always love olives and they, you know, give you one olive usually in your hummus, but I want more. All right, first bite, really good. The flavors go together very, very nicely. This is definitely an upgraded Eero sandwich. The fresh bread really upgrades the entire experience. All the other fantastic ingredients and flavors have made this a marvelous meal. And now we're down to the last bite, and I think I've got one olive here left. So I did get a couple of olives, but I want more. So now, just like I've totally destroyed this food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this plate of food. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $29.48. So, thanks so much to everybody at Biblos and Elmwood for two fantastic meals. And thanks to everybody at all the Biblos locations, as I love each and every one of them for what they do. They each have their own little unique personalities and different things they offer in a really excellent way. I'm a big fan of the upgraded food at the Elmwood location, although you're going to pay extra for that. I've always been a fan of the Metairie Road location as well. It's easy to get to and always a good experience. And the one I eat at the most that has the best value is the Market Biblos on Veteran. So make sure to investigate all of them and check them all out as I do enjoy eating at all three of them. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Ed channel, especially to my Patreons. 
Now, if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as that really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.